excited. But first, a word from FanDuel. You can say goodbye to Busted Brackets because FanDuel is letting you bet on every game of the NCAA tournament. Whether you're betting on a big upset or a one seed, it's time to go dancing on America's number one sports book. And right now, new customers get $200 in bonus bets if their first $5 bet wins. That's $200 to use on point spreads, money lines. You can even pick who's going to win it all. Just visit FanDuel.com slash UCSS and bet on college <coughs> until they cut the nets down. And today's winning ticket comes from our guy Lamont No Sanford, who's on a heater. Three winning tickets in the last two weeks he Damn. sent in. He turned 50 bucks into 833 bucks what? this week Ooh. on a four-part parlay using the spreads. He had Brown plus 7.5, Auburn minus 5.5, UAB minus 7.5, and, and, and Illinois minus 2.5. All four of those hit. He turned 50 bucks into 833 bucks. So shout out to you, Lamont. No Sanford at Montdag R8. Hey, Appreciate you sending Lamont, the ticket. Lamont, you better start sending the parlays through. Man, come on, bro. We're going to have to show the love. We're going to have to start extorting yeah, Lamont. Yeah, we share parlays around here. Come Send on, it bro. to me. I, I got tears, At boy. Zebra's 91, <laughs> 800. It's easy going? to brag when it's over. Yeah. Man, no. <laughs> and he I, hit three. I, I trust him. He two in a row, right, McNuggets? Our last three tickets have all come from Lamont. Yeah, yeah. send me he send me one tonight. I got tears for you. My wife said if I don't start, she said if you ain't hit like last week, I, I I had a little parlay out. Yeah. I ain't hit. She says you're done. <laughs> you're Damn. finished. I saw that you. I didn't get a chance to watch it yet, but I saw that you and your wife did a podcast. Yes, we have a we have a podcast. Y'all can go check it out. Um, we have a uh, we have a it's a we have a uh, reality based uh, kind of skit thing. So we we explore the differences in our culture, uh, and it, and it's called Blazian Love. <laughs> that is awesome. Gee, didn't your doctor tell you to talk less? Yes, that's true. She, he the did. doctor did tell you to talk less. Yeah, yeah. We, we don't, you know, check out the latest episode. Um, we yeah. went to I took her on a really nice date. You'll never you'll never guess. What. All right. McDonald's. Nope. Damn. Well, you got it. You got to tune in. Can't tune give in. it away. Yeah, uh, right. I can't give it away here. All right. Let's jump into this, guys. When 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 you Tyvis, we'll start with you. When you saw the news that the Browns signed Tyler Huntley, what was your reaction? Dang, PJ Walker done. Oh God, God he was already the done. Legend. The He's legend there. is gone, He's man. Married. It was like when when Mufasa died on Lion King, man. I, it just a tear about rolled down my face. A winning quarterback. <laughs> no, oh when God. I see <laughs> when I seen the Browns get Tyler Huntley, I I said they needed another quarterback for camp. I mean, that's pretty much what that is. Um, he's he fits the mobile. He's he's African American. He's so, black and so mobile. My, everybody my, black and mobile. My statement still stands strong. Uh, he's a pro bowler, but outside of that, it's stop not a, with the pro. He's bowler. a pro bowler. That's a, that's a fraud. He's man. a pro. A fraud. Is he not a pro bowler? <laughs> he is, but it's All a fraud. Right. I bet you he got extra money. money. He this got, goes right into his gag. <laughs> I mean, it goes yeah, it right does. into it. it. Does. It's crazy. That's like giving Deshaun Watson credit for All the win the Colts game. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. What I know is he's he's literally a better version oh God. of PJ Walker. I, I, I told you. I'm telling oh. you, look, hey, this is Lamar went down yeah. last year, not last year, the season before, and they said the season's over. Tyler Huntley came in there. Yeah. And they went to the playoffs still. And they lost. They did. But it, because he decided to put the ball out from the two yard line, which I don't know why you did that. If you would have just got pushed in the end zone, it would have And then right. I think a Buckeye returned at 98 yards. He, did. For touchdown. he almost didn't make it. He did. Go Bucks. <laughs> Anyways, but he's, uh, he's essentially another PJ Walker with the yeah. mobile aspect. And he wins games. I mean, but what, okay, more me you, ask, what more do you want from your QB? Gee, let me ask you this. Mm. Let me ask you this because, you know, they had P.J. Walker eventually as the, well, really he was the third quarterback. Last year you had Kellen Mond in camp as the fourth quarterback. You knew he wasn't going to make the team. But this is a little different to me because Tyler Huntley's been a legitimate backup quarterback in the league. So you now have four quarterbacks on this team that have legitimately been on rosters for at least the last year. Obviously, DTR was a rookie last year. So is there anything else you're reading into signing another guy who's actually played in this league and been a backup quarterback <coughs> for a while? Or was he just a camp body that they can cut? Man, listen, I, when I came out and started screaming, uh, you know, Operation Stockpile, I didn't know they was really going to take it to heart like that. <laughs> they, really? They, they really took my notes and ran with them notes, man. And what you watch is what, they've, what they're trying to do is they're saying all our chips are in. 
but let's look at some of the small little corners and parses and pieces of parts of our roster where <clears throat> if something go wrong, we need to plug and play and we need to con- be able to continue to keep winning games. You take a look at what the quarterback room is right now. DTR is, he looked like he, he, he's, uh, not, not, not only is he not going to be on the open day roster, it looks like he's going to be on the practice squad. Whoa. But, you, but if you're <coughs> trying to put him on the practice Whoa. squad, somebody will claim him. Whoa. War line. War line. Man, you need to cut that what out. What you mean? You Brent Hun- cut that out. Hunley is better than DTR. Are you sick in the head? Uh, you- <laughs> <laughs> Hun- he's not. You just. He's not. Are you. you are you DTR? Ill? You ill? Listen, I gave him his name. I started saying his name Snow. D. T. Listen, right now. Hundley is a better quarterback to him. Cut it out. If you had one game to win, who you who would you play? D- Stop. Dorian Thompson. Stop. Robinson. I, I will. Stop. I would say that if I had to win one game right now, I'd probably start Tyler Huntley because no, he's wouldn't. played more in the league. No, you wouldn't. Yeah. I think long term though, I'd rather have DTR. Did you? You before DTR got hurt in the in the, in the Denver game, he was actually it was progress. Exactly, yeah. he was moving up. The only reason his stats look bad is because his receivers dropped the ball every time they weren't used to that heat that he was throwing. So, Tyvis, are you saying you think Tyler Huntley's a camp body, nothing more, even though he's been a legitimate backup? Yes. Oh, that's crazy. Now, they did pay him league minimum. He might not. So, no, he might why be on the practice he, squad. If you're Tyler Huntley, why would you sign with the Browns if you didn't think there was any chance you could well, the Well, because, be, believe it or not, yeah. this is, let's, we got to give credit where credit's due, which is what I'm a firm believer in. Yeah. Kevin Stefanski does an amazing job at getting quarterbacks to play well in games. Just what it is. But it, I mean, you think about like last, it was Josh Rosen. Josh Rosen was terrible in the NFL, but he got to the Browns and he actually looked decent in man. the preseason. In the preseason, he did look decent. He did. That's pushing it. He he didn't look <laughs> decent in the preseason. I can't even remember. Kellen Mond didn't even make another but wait, roster, but he was decent but in the preseason. But still, he does. If, Kevin if Stefanski saying, does well with quarterbacks. You're saying he has no chance to make the roster, That's barring crazy. injury. Who? That's crazy. Uh, Hunt. Tyler, Hunt. Tyler Huntley. Tyler No, I don't think so. Okay, so then why would he? He's a he, backup to Lamar Jackson. It, it, what? It, right, like why? It, it's weird to me that nobody was willing to have take him as a backup, or at least, at the very least, I got to imagine why wasn't some team willing to let him compete for the number two quarterback? The role? same reason that they won't let. Why would you not let Philip compete? For because Philip sucks. <laughs> He's terrible. <laughs> Can you show them stats? He's terrible. Again? Did I miss something? What's terrible. Tyler Huntley? <laughs> them stats ain't that great. Tyler Huntley's stats are not great. Yeah, what you talking about? Oh, nobody said they had great stats. Let me see. Just flash. Just flash what you flashed what, earlier. What, what do you got? Let's see the stats. <laughs> okay, of course that's not great, but that's way better than P.J. Walker. <laughs> P.J. <laughs> Walker is like well, seven well, touchdowns well, and 20 Wait a minute. Pass. What is his What is his overall record as a, as a star? I don't be? care, Tyler. I do. Re- win-loss record, especially in a small sample size, is meaningless Bro, for judging not, a quarterback. Not we, well, listen, well, no, hey, real quick, G, let, let me give Tyvis the answer. <laughs> yeah. Tyvis, Huntley's career record is 3-6. and six. P.J. Walker's career record is 5-4, and 6-4 and four if you include it's the irrelevant. Indianapolis game. Yeah, this is an emba- However, it's embarrassing to even what is this? However, but, but Phillip has thrown, no he's job. He's thrown six touchdowns, no Tyvis, sense. and has 16 interceptions. No, six what, what touchdowns, you, 16 what interceptions. You, I'm, what you're talking about I'm is irrelevant. And what, <laughs> what's P.J. Walker's completion percentage? It's got to be way lower than that. I don't know P.J. Why. Walker's completion percentage for his career is why, 54.6 why last do, season for Cleveland, 48.9. Why, why do y'all let him do this to y'all every time? Yeah. He gets y'all every time. Yeah, it's true. And then you got to rattle right. off stats like this is You're actually right. a genuine conversation. You're right. Not. He gets You're you correct. every team. You are like, correct. This is, about, this is about DTR and whether or not he's going to be. Obviously. What D- was his injury, DTR's injury? Uh, I don't yeah, remember. Do you? Oh, no, no, to end, it, no it, to end his season, he had an ankle or something. Yeah, well, no, that, yeah then he got hurt against Houston on that one third or fourth down play. Uh, was he, it, he's expected to be is there any no. part? Is there any part of either of you guys that when you heard about this, because this happened to me for a second, and then I thought about it longer, and I said, nah, that doesn't make any sense. But for a second, I thought, are they worried Deshaun Watson's not going to be ready no. for the start of the season? No. Here's what I think they were. No. about it for Here's a what I no. think they worried no. about. Deshaun Watson, I'm going to let y'all know something right now, is not going to play one preseason game. Not one. <laughs> Won't see him. Zero. I, would, I, I don't know. in that, that, bubble wrap. That, he, that, that's, that's a little. You think that's a good idea? Uh, uh, to, from getting I, don't, I, I don't know if it's a good idea or not, but 
They not gonna play him. It's done. You think you agree? Ah, he might not even be active. So my so I tell you what, I would have to see if he's lighting it up in like training camp. Yeah. Then cool, you know. But if I, you got to see it in game because no, yes you do because I'm gonna tell you why. Why? Be- because when he when he first got here, he looked. All right, like they, he was lighting it, but then like the season came around, it wasn't a good turnaround, you know. And I, I just, I'm a firm believer that listen, practice you, the way you practice is how you play in the game, but the game speed is different. It's totally the, different. Here, People act different in the game. Here's what I'm. Here, I gotta see you in. I would. He at least gotta take a series. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna get my rebuttal, and then I want a 60 second poll after rebuttal. We got you, G. This man. If he gets hurt in any preseason games, Doug, you need to cut that out. The whole organization is getting fired. Every all the cap manipulation they doing, all these little picks, all these. Listen, that's a, that's, if he that's gets a lie. Hurt, if he gets hurt, it's a wrap. But that's a lie. But we G, said that last year. But gee, if if if, if he's so fragile uh, that we're worried about him getting hurt in one series in the uh, preseason. We, we, How's it going to last the whole can't, year? We can't, we can't help that. We, we can't. We just going to have to feel. No. We just going to have to be unsure if he's going to be sharp you, or not. You live be, in it. You live no, in it. No. Yes, I am. What's the last yes, time? I'm, a, when yes, the last time a quarterback I'm, yes, got hurt in the preseason? I'm living in. When is the last time a quarterback? <laughs> well, Aaron Rod. Oh, no, that was regular. Yeah, regular. When the last uh, time? Ooh. Didn't uh, somebody on Minnesota got hurt? Bridgewater. Kirk Cousins was, was Bridgewater in Bridgewater a couple years ago. Teddy Bridgewater. Man. Let me tell you this. For Teddy no, Bridgewater I stay hurt. I don't remember. The injury, the injury that Deshaun Watson has, no, pretty much no football player has ever had that injury. So or at least no quarterback. So no quarterback. Isn't Joe Burrow in that same category? No. no. If, if I was, if I was, if I was the Bengals, like if, I was a, if I was the Bengals. wrist? Is that what it is? Yeah, he broke it. I think he broke his wrist. Deshaun? No. No, no, no. Joe, Joe Burrow. I wouldn't play Joe Burrow either. He went sniffed on. Listen. Well, I don't think he plays anyway. I'm going to keep it well, real. he hasn't because yeah. he's, <laughs> he's, not, he's Listen, I'm just going by what they're looking at. Yeah. You got three quarterbacks right now, and you talk about Deshaun Watson is just throwing in March. You're going to get him to Jeez. camp, and you go, and, and you got to break him in easier because you don't even know if he's going to have a, the, the, enough stamina in, his, stamina in his arm to throw consecutively every but single day. Gee, you're not paying it. To- it's a, it's about to be a new playbook. You can learn that. No, you uh, yeah. When in, practice, in game, he no, barely played in for three game. Years. That's where you need to learn it. At. And I, my goal <laughs> is yeah. to get him to play. I hear you. I, I, I'm with Ty. I, generally, I don't care that guy's playing the preseason, but I'm with Tyvis on this. I haven't played at least a little. Smart man. Boy. I ain't playing. Playing <laughs> bubble wrap. You get out there in the in the regular season and you say he can't handle it. And now you, you, you stuck. And, and, and what is your excuse? Let's just be clear. Yeah. You got a guy who has not played traditionally the whole time he's been here. Ooh. Instead of making sure you get him to the regular season where you can see and evaluate Jeez. him, you play him <laughs> in meaningless but, games in the playoffs. But it's, just, it's not cut, just it, about it's the, it's playing the in the regular season. Playoffs. It's playing well in the regular he season. He's going to work his way into it. Mm-hmm. I'm not, I'm not ch- chancing it. What the polls say? So, G, I put the poll up, <laughs> and I said it specifically how you worded it. Will everyone get fired if Deshaun Watson? Oh, gets he's gonna hurt put everybody get game? fired. That's well, not that's, what he. he I wanted said, to pull Willie really play or not? Well, should, oh, want, should he play? Or not? Should he play any preseason game? Oh, done. Game? All right, let me put a new poll up. Well, give, put, poll up. give yes, us, give us that one. Sixty-one percent uh, says no. Everyone will not be fired if he gets hurt. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so there's at least. All right, while you do the other poll, give me another one. I gotta say, I'm kind of in the end. Like I went through when I heard this news, I was actually having lunch with Jonathan Peterlin. Mm. Shout out to JP. And um, Paul's up, G. Okay. And and a, a, a mutual friend now named Matt, who's we've added to my fantasy football league. Shout out to Matt, who's a big fan of the why, show. Why can't we be added to you? He already football. asked us to. He, 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 Is it a baseball, dynasty? Fantasy baseball. Oh, yeah, never mind. I don't, don't First of all, I have invited <laughs> all of you guys to every us fantasy us league he, I do, he, he, and nobody he, responds he, to my text. I'm not doing dynasty. We'll, 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 we'll well, well you just got mad, then why couldn't you be invited? But I did invite you. I have sidetracked you again. Got well, you get again. your story out. You and Peterlin <laughs> having a nice candlelit lunch. What happened? No. Ah, yes, sir. There yes, was sir. there was wives around. There okay. was little kids. Aaron was doing his own thing. But but um, anyway, uh, so I see the news, get the alert on my phone, and so I'm like, wow. My first thought was, okay, something's up here. 
because you have four guys <coughs> who have at least been a backup quarterback in the league, including DTR. All of them can play year. a little bit. All of them can play. Like none of them are hundred percent guesses. Yeah. None. Of, I, I. I was like, there's no Kellen Mons in this group. And then I was, so I went through a, a series of things. I was like, is there a chance they're going to move on from DTR? And then, like Tyvis, I was like, no, they're not going to do that. I can't see that. They can't. I don't even think they can put them on the practice squad because I think some some crappy team would would pick them 100%, 100%. up. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Right. And then and then I thought, well, does this mean they're a little concerned that Watson's not going to be ready for the season? And then I said, no, he's going to be throwing soon. Why? You know, he can't be ready in five and a half months. That doesn't make any sense. But then I was like, well, maybe he's not going to be ready for a lot of the offseason program. And the more, and then I saw that, that Huntley signed for the league minimum, and I thought to myself, what you said now, that maybe the, even though he's more proven than Kellen Mond, that they kind of are looking at him like Kellen Mond, like he's just a camp body and that's it. Maybe I saw Earl tweet, maybe they can trade a draft pick for him. I, I would trade him for a draft pick. I guess that's possible. It's unlikely, you know, you know what possible. this move is? I'm going to tell you what this move was. You ready? All right, go ahead. This move right here, let me see it, Steve. This move right here is to bring competition. There is no complacency. There is nobody's job is guaranteed. It's really big for DTR. We want to help you become better. We want to help your development. So what's going to help that? Competition. So you bring a guy in here that's a former Pro Bowler and a guy that's actually been in the league. Stop, stop doing that. He's a pro. I, I did it in quotations. Former Pro All right, Bowler. All fair enough. And you bring that in here against DTR, and he actually start balling a little bit in practice, DTR going to think to himself, man, I got to step my game up because they actually might cut me and get rid yeah. of me type thing. So I think that this is just yeah. the competition thing. You don't, the, want, you don't want nobody it, resting on what they did last season. And that's what good organizations yeah. do. You always bring in guys in there to keep the competition But teams going. don't usually have four quarterbacks that have played. Every, this. Every team, <clears throat> no, because they usually draft some rookie or something right. like that. They're not going to do that. Or take a veteran who's yeah. who's been the third stringer on yeah, a bunch of like that. never played. <clears throat> this is, to me, this just... But what would make DTR work more? Oh, this guy actually but, played to, to, to Does me, anybody question his work ethic? No, I but, don't you, think so. but you still want to make sure this has well, let me ask you this. Is anybody, competition. Is anybody, it's weird, we talked about this before the show, that the Browns have not announced the Jameis contract. <laughs> And it's been a number of days. Is there a chance that something's happened there and they're not going to sign him? He going to back out? Maybe. Do we think I that's a possibility? I mean, that's a possibility. It's a possibility. <laughs> may, he maybe want to hold out for a job where he may be able to perceive that he can win a, a starting yeah. job somewhere. That may know. be a thing. But I, I don't think it's just about DTR. I just think it, it's about this. Listen, when you're dealing with, 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 <clears throat> with your franchise quarterback's arm, you're going to be very cautious. You're not going to force him to do anything. If he has any pain, any swelling, any of that, they're going to they're walk it back. They're going to take a look at what they did during the regular season and say, look, how did we handle this last year? A couple games we put him in, he wasn't ready. Yeah. We had him in the practice, he was throwing, he walks off with a shoulder. <coughs> they're not going to do that this year. If anything, there are going to be some scheduled days off. There's going to be some scheduled weeks where he's not take, doing nothing but mental reps. And I look at it like this way. They want three quarterbacks in there that are going to be running the offense in a specific type way. Jameis Winston has started games, in it, and I think he's going to be taking the predominantly the number of, of the first-team snaps when you're talking about right. install. But Jameis is very different than the other three quarterbacks. Yes, he Jameis is. Jameis is, you know, I know there's a, I, you know, there's a lot of people out there, uh, white people, get yourself together, that think every black quarterback's a runner. Let's be honest about it. That's what a lot of white people think. You see a black quarterback, oh, he can run, he can run. Yeah, Jameis Winston can't run. No, 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 no. He got He's his, not a runner. He got bad legs. His legs move different. As like I said on Friday, he got a fat ass just like me. <laughs> you I love you, Jameis. Super. You By the way, that. I, I am, oh my and God. that's a compliment. Like He's got a that's big, strong worse. trunk. That's terrible. But he's man. a thrower. He's he not just, a runner at just, all. You're just digging yourself oh, deeper in the hole. We got a trunk. It's a compliment to Jameis. A trunk? He's a thrower, man. man we, don't, I, we don't comment on oh. people's men's. Why? Oh. Why? I'm secure in my sexuality. Me my too. But I, I don't know. Like <laughs> Jameis is a fat ass. Adam That's Bolt. crazy. <laughs> but I also Y'all got a graphic? <laughs> Oh, was they, was, they was on a heater Thursday. Oh, my. oh this was Thursday we did this? I thought he geez. wasn't here. No, Thursday. Oh, I think so, so they got a, they I got didn't a co-sign new, any of this. Listen, oh. they got a new thing, G, that anytime we say something oh, yeah. on the fence, they make a graphic Tyvesen, and put it on there right away. Things. 
Where was I at? Well, and, then, <laughs> and then you tweet crazy. it out without context. <laughs> and then yeah. people were making That's the whole comments. point. People oh, will yeah. see it without context. The chat like, is going whoa. crazy. <laughs> Only one day the graphic it was insane. <laughs> oh my goodness, man. <laughs> No, David, which, Jay, David, by the way, the result of your poll, yeah, seventy percent said yes, he should play in the preseason. Thirty percent. Wow, said no, I'm surprised by yeah. that. I don't know the why you just surprised. turned on G. Good, because he wrong. It's two left shoes. Wow. wow. Listen, I'm not playing him. That is the first time ever that the chat just said no. That was we are was, not with Bush. You gonna sit a dude who just missed him. all of that all, the half, the yep. second half of a whole season, yeah. sure who's am. already missed a ton of games. Yep. No, he gonna. We gotta see what we got mm. going he, he, just in case we y'all want to play y'all want to play y'all want to play Nick Chubb too no he ain't oh, touching no, not a single but, that, <laughs> but you know what you get let, with let, 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 <laughs> don't get too don't first get too all, first of all, that's what I'm the, saving the bubble wrap for the, is the, the running back position no running backs really play it in the preseason no no veterans at least. yeah yeah let me ask y'all one question we'll move yeah. on to Mike Vrabel in a sec but assuming Jameis is part of this quarterback room is there a more talented quarterback room in the NFL than oh the Cleveland Browns right now? <laughs> Mike, Mike is good at that now. You notice he gives Who you those Who thinks cuts. about that, That's though. crazy. The producer talk. Is there a more talented room? <laughs> <Wait> yes. This- <laughs> who? Because y- you have Patrick Mahomes, and it's Patrick- irrelevant who that's the quarterback. <laughs> it could be Patrick Mahomes and T. Higgins in the back. No. And it doesn't I, matter. That's a lie. I would Cincinnati. And, well, there's other team. Every team that's got a better quarterback than Deshaun Watson has a more talented. No, because yes. I like Jake Browning as a second. Yeah, right. Option. Yeah, no. Every, listen, the, the answer is the Kansas City Chiefs and whoever they got it back up. 